In this video I want to show you how to do some arithmetic on the Comptometer in a bit more detail than in my other video. So I want to show you how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Before you start you always have to zero the register, so it all says zeros here. And addition is very easy. Or you just type in all the numbers you want to add. So adding 1, 2 and 3, you get 6. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, you get 45. And to add 10, you just type the 1 in the in the tens column. There is no 0, because you don't have to do anything in this column to add 0. So you get 55, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, the operators of these machines used to want to do things uh, using touch typing and that way they didn't have to look and they could do it very fast so it was a fairly bad idea to, to use these top rows of buttons because then you'd have to jump around and you'd lose your place so instead of uh, 16 they would just use uh, these lower buttons by doing 13 and 3 and for 17, 13 and 4 for 18 and 19 14 and 5 or 15 and 4 if you like so yeah the numbers 1 to 19 added together are 190 multiplication is uh, just as easy it's just repeated addition so if you want to uh, multiply uh, 37 once, you just type it once, twice, three times, four times. Four times 37 is 148. Five, six, and seven. So seven times 37 is 259. To do 17 times 37, you just move one up so that you now um, add it uh, one digit further, so you're essentially adding it 10 times in one go. So this is now uh, 17 times 37, 629. 27 times 37, 999. So you can see multiplication is fairly easy. Subtraction is a slightly different matter, however, because, well, these buttons only add, so you can't really subtract this, so you need a trick to do this. To subtract 123 from this number, 555, what you, what you really do is you add 1000 minus 123, which is 877. So to subtract 123, I actually add 877. And what I get here is the right answer, 432, but I also get an extra 1 here, an extra 1000. So this way of uh, subtracting, there are two, two tricks involved. Firstly, you need to know which buttons you have to press. You have to do this mental arithmetic to get 1000 minus in the number that you're doing. And secondly, you have to get rid of this extra, extra carry, this overflow of 1000. Now the first, the first thing, uh, the first problem you can solve using these small digits on the keys. These co-digits they're called. To subtract 123, first you mentally decrease it by 1. So you have 122 and that's what you type using these small digits. So you actually type 122 which really says 877. And secondly, to get rid of that extra thousand, you can use these metal buttons. If you hold down a button, it'll uh, block a carry happening from one digit to the next. So, to subtract 123 from 555, you hold down this third uh, metal button to block this carry. And uh, then you uh, type 122 here, 877 really. And that shows now the correct answer here, 433 and nothing in front of it. 
If your number is a little bit longer, if you have a few extra digits, so 55,555, then just, just pressing the, the 1, 2 and 2 here, the 877, is not enough. You have to uh, precede it by some leading zeros, really nines, so that this, this overflow sort of carries out of the way. So you do 877, a 9, and a 9, and now you see that this extra overflow is uh, over on this side. And if you were to do more leading zeros, you'll see that this 1, this overflow, moves over. Eventually you, you want to use one of these levers to, to block this, uh, yeah, block this uh, carry, and so it disappears. So here you now have the uh, the correct answer, 55,432. Uh, so that's subtraction. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but it's not too bad once you know the tricks. Division is slightly more complicated, but it's really nothing else but repeated subtraction. If I have uh, the number 5,678, 5678, and I want to divide that by 12. To subtract 12, first you have to mentally reduce it by 1, so you get 11, and that's, the, well, that's what you would have to type, 1, 1. But I'm going to subtract 12 from here as often as I can to reduce it to 0. But, uh, yeah, so I don't want to start at the lower two digits. I want to start a bit higher up, just like long division. You start on the left-hand side, and that's where you subtract 12 to see, um, yeah, to, to get closer to zero. So, on the third or fourth column, I'm going to subtract 12. Or, so I'm going to have to type 1-1. One, one. I'm also going to use one leading zero here. You, you need at least one leading zero to, when you're doing division. So if I do that, I start with 56 there, and I'll do it once, I now have 44. I've not used these metal buttons, because so, so that now you see this extra one appearing here. And that's very useful, because that shows me that I've subtracted 12 once. If I do it again, if I just do the 988 eight at the top here, or 011. One, one. I now have 32 again, and I get 20. One more time, I get 8. So now I've subtracted it a total of four times, as it says here, and I've, I've reduced these first two, two digits of the number to, to something that's less than 12. So now I have to move up one more digit. So I have uh, 87 here. So I'll start subtracting 12, I'll do it 1, 2, 3, 4, and one more time, I've reduced these two digits to just 3, I've had to do it 7 times as you can see here, and now I move to the last two digits, it says 38, so i start subtracting, 2 and 3, so and now it now says 2 here, and this is the remainder. These last three digits show the remainder of uh, the, the division. To the left of that, it says 473. That's the quotient. So my division of 5,678 divided by 12 is 473 with a remainder of 2. If I were to use the uh, uh, not just one leading uh, zero but two, then I'd have a, uh, a divisor that has uh, four digits, as it were. Then the, it would be the last four digits that have the remainder, and everything to the left would be the quotient. Essentially, the number of columns you use to, for this uh, divisor including any leading zeros, that's the size of the, uh, yeah, the, the, the remainder when you read it off at the end. So, 
that's uh, division and that's arithmetic on the comptometer. Thank you very much for watching.